In this brief video tutorial, I'm going to cover a new module, an add-on to e-learning called Big Blue Button. Big Blue Button is an open source web conferencing system that enables professors to deliver high quality experience to remote students. It supports sharing of slides such as PDF or PowerPoint, video, whiteboard, chat, and voice over IP, and desktop sharing. This module is still in beta and so expect some bugs and new improvements down the road. This is primarily going to be useful for synchronous learning such as teaching certain distance learning courses every, or it could be useful for uh, regular courses to meet online and prepare for a certain exam, a certain activity, or whenever you cannot make it to the class. So here is how it works. Basically, go to the course, sign into eLearning, and go to the course that you want to enable one of those synchronous learning sessions. Then, once you're in the course, click on Turn Editing On, either under Administration or on the top right of your screen, just like you have done in the past. Then, go to that specific week. So, for example, we are going to prepare for February 15th, and then you go under Add an Activity and choose Big Blue Button. At the next screen, you just give it a name, attendee a password. This is tightly integrated into e-learning, and uh, users do not need a password, but just in case, you still need to put one in there in order to create a meeting. So let's say one, two, three, and you can unmask it. And then the same thing for the moderator as well, one, two, three, four. And then you could have an, a welcome message as well, and then choose Save Changes. So basically, you're just scheduling a meeting and posting it to eLearning so far. Then click on Save Changes. At this point, you could return back to the course, and notice a new entry has been posted, just like um, it happens for specific, specific assignments. I'll turn editing off. You don't have to do that, but just so that the screen looks a little clearer here. And at this point, supposedly you're ready to go and start this meeting, this online meeting. You could specify that it's going to start at 10 p.m. or at 5 p.m. or whatever it is. Now, supposedly you're ready to start the meeting. Time has come. It's going to be, let's say, at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and you could have entered that information in the title of the meeting here and also contacted the class. So you're ready to uh, start the meeting. You click on it, and at this point, the students will see just the attendee button, and the faculty will see both options. So you'll click on the moderator screen, and at this point, the meeting virtual space will be created. So once you have opened the online video conference here, you have a couple different things to take note. Notice on the left-hand side, top left-hand side here, you have all the different users that have signed in and are participating. Then uh, right below here, once you start broadcasting or once you start speaking and presenting, these will be your listeners. And further down on the left, there will be a video doc where all the video <coughs> captures from all the users will show up. In the middle, this is where you'll upload your presentation or pr start presenting. And then on the right hand side, this is where you can start chatting either with the whole class or with specific individuals. Notice there are some tutorials for this as well from the vendor that you can check out. So for example, if I wanted to say uh, to write to everyone in the course, you just type and hit enter. And I'm logged in another computer here as IT staff. You have the communication back and forth via the chat from the students. <clears throat> if you do not have the upload presentation button here, make sure that you have uh, yourself, you have assigned yourself as a presenter. So the one that says you here, notice if you yourself are not marked as a presenter, notice you do not have the upload button. You click on Switch Presenter, and then Upload Presentation option becomes available. Now, if you want to start sharing your sound or sharing your microphone, all you have to do is you click on the microphone icon here on the top. Notice there are three little icons here. So, Share Microphone, and then press Join Audio. If you're the only one in the course, so I'm going to disengage my microphone here for a second. 
since you're the only one in the course there will usually be some waiting music here uh, so basically you cannot saying that you can't really start uh, broadcasting yet so it has to be that the other listeners have to start participating or sharing their microphone or their video now when you want to start sharing your uh, camera you just click on share camera and then uh, sometimes it may come to allow the camera to be shared so what you have to do is you have to choose yes for that now on the quality you can choose different quality of the sharing here and then click on start sharing video once the your video is shared then it will show down here if the users do the same thing on their end you can click on sh uh, they'll have to click on share camera click on allow on their end and start sharing their camera so in this case I have kind of two cameras here because I'm uh, using two computers notice this is how it will show for the different users in your class keep in mind you can sh you must share the microphone as both for the users and uh, you yourself once the users are participating online you can mute all of them so you can either pick yourself and, and then you can mute everyone and then simply enable yourself so basically the idea is to select all the listeners and then mute them you can mute them manually here or all on the right hand side at this point supposedly we are ready to present to upload our presentation so you click on the upload presentation then you browse for it find where your presentation is and probably it's a good idea to upload the presentation in the very beginning when the video is not going at the same time and all this stuff so at this point I'm gonna turn off my video here like I said it's best to turn off the video initially and then go to wherever you have your files and let's say this is your PowerPoint upload it so in this case you're actually uploading it on the PBU system here uh, this system it's actually hosted on site at PBU and once the PowerPoint has been uploaded it needs to be converted so you can share it online so it takes a few seconds so you usually want to do this before the actual scheduled time for this session this is uh, very heavy in graphics and so it's going to take a little longer to convert it and upload it once the video has been uploaded at this point you can uh, this is how it's going to show up for the users it's actually this is what the users will see it's a little bit bigger depending on the screen size and all that type of stuff to move from slide to slide you just uh, click on next slide and uh, here in the bottom you can uh, zoom in or zoom out of your slide as well as you can click on this uh, show whiteboard and you can pick and draw different things so if I want to choose a color here and draw in color orange and make this a little bit bigger now at this point I could highlight things as I'm speaking and presenting this if I had a tablet PC here I could also use a stylus to write on this and present again if I like a different color so basically this same PowerPoint along with the video and along with um, the PowerPoint itself and the chat and all of these components are happening at the same time it could be that at times a student can ask you a question when a student asks a question it will show up here on the right on your chat screen and you can uh, respond or you can go to that site or you can share something else in this case presumably I have a hyperlink in the case of opening a specific site it had to share the desktop so you have to click on this little icon here on the very top left and click on share desktop this usually will require Java so you need to have Java installed in your computer okay so that this is basically how it works so you basically once you're the presenter yourself you upload the PowerPoint by using this button down here it can be a PDF document or a regular PowerPoint for heavy-duty graphics PowerPoints it may not update correctly because um, uh, it has to convert the PowerPoint so in that case you'll use a share desktop share my desktop option which will then share everything on your screen to all the students and participants in the course keep an eye that sometimes the students might raise their hand there is an option here for raising hand so notice uh, IT staff here under raise hand 
they have pushed the button. So in this case, you can either ask them a question or you can ask them to post a question in the discussion thread here, or you can make them a presenter as well for the time being. If that's the case, you click on their name, you click on switch to presenter, and they can share their desktop, or you could unmute their microphone and then they'll be able to speak to the whole class. Again, keep in mind this is in beta testing, in beta version, so there will be bugs and there might be problems out there.